Alrighty, Red Sky, the Fazio course today. Uh, not feeling 100% about this, and you'll see why this course was pretty tough. And what you want to do is hit the fairways. Um, as you'll see from my adventures on the Red Sky, that uh, that is essential. Here on the first hole, we got mountains in the background. We got tall grasses. Um, I also chunked and just like miss hit a lot of balls on this round, which does not help either. Um, 20, 30 yards short on some things, and then like a chip like this is just no help. Eight yards off the target, so it's a bogey to start off and uh, it's a little bit of bogey golf here at the Red Sky Fazio and it, the, the reason why was the drives just didn't have it um, coming off of Lake of Isles which if you look the last round posted Lake of Isles was one bogey four birdies all the rest pars just like a normal round of golf and uh, it was because all the drives were where they needed to be in the fairway. Pretty good shot here, but just a little bit over the flag on a par 5. And we'll escape that one with a par. Pretty good drive right here. I like those numbers. Get that spin down a little more, but 80 yards to go. And right in there, so a birdie. Um, so really, so far, not hitting a ton of bad shots, and right at even until now. We're going to test this out of bounds marker. We're going to stay in. We do. a good out. It's in the rough on the other side here of the fairway, but 40 yards remaining. Trying to salvage something. And it just bounces through the gimme circle. So an example there of a bogey that we're not going to be too mad about because we would have had a par putt and you know most amateurs are going to miss that putt most of the time. So a bogey is pretty fair. Another bad drive, just uh, heave hoeing it out to the left. Have to do some sort of craziness here. I thought I played these shots pretty well, actually. Um, you, you don't practice these a lot, but just little chip four and five irons to stay on the branch and get it out. I tried to get it there, 230, 232, and uh, yanked it left. So ending up in a bad spot again, just kind of back and forth all over the course so far here at Fazio. I do love the landscape. We got these uh, rock mountains and hills with grass. We bogey that one, the fifth. Moving over to the sixth over here, 358 yards. Just not a good drive again. It dog legs to the right. That's face closed and path to the left, and it's going to end up in the left rough. Trying to play a draw off of a fade lie, and it ends up about five yards right, but a uh, pretty good shot there. Moving on to the south, we're at two over still. Yikes, a scarily bad slice here with a hybrid trying to get 207 or something to the par 3 rejected by a tree branch rejected by a tree or bush hard to tell and then in the gimme circle so that's a double bogey so uh, on the seventh hole instantly jumping up to plus four. Again, 
another drive that just uh, everything closed early. Some of the numbers aren't bad. Two degree attack angle with a 12 degree launch. Another tree rejection. So now trying to stay under the branch. And does, but not nearly enough behind it. And uh, chipping some more, and that one's long. So back to back double bogeys. Goes from plus two to plus six in uh, quite a short period of time. 170, and uh, just almost missed the ball there. A little bit of an overswing, possibly, trying to make up for all these bogeys, but just ends up being worse. You gotta really relax your arms more when you're swinging poorly or when you've had some bad results and you're tense. Gotta relax your arms more, stay more grounded in your feet, and just hit the ball straight. Another long par three, the Fazio here with a couple 200 yard par threes that, again, that was a miss hit that just didn't go anywhere. It was like off the toe and then had no ball speed. We were able to save that one and get off of this double bogey train with a par there on the 10th. We're at plus seven. A normal par four here, 400 yards. Again, a bad drive. Like, it's not uh, a mystery what happened here in this round. Setting myself up for zero good shots and then <laughs> literally hitting trees directly um, with five irons is pretty bad too. So two shots to get out of the rough, and then we get to go for the green. Hole it for a par. Oh, and it comes up short. And it's going to roll off the green even. Yikes. Fazio being mean here on the 11th. In the gimme circle for the sixth shot. And, uh, theme of the Fazio course, another double. Let's see if we can get a drive in play here. Nope. I was trying to go for this one even. That was terrible. A little flick of the wrist and the gimme circle taketh away another stroke. Could have got a birdie there with a little less rollout but oh hold on everybody this might be a drive in the fairway it is a normal drive a little spinny but probably had to be to get straight a little bit of a tug a chunk again something with the uh, timing was just not good on the downswing I was getting some really bad contact on some of these and uh, I think playing poorly early those back-to-back -back double bogeys it, it gives you a kind of screw this attitude especially when it's sim golf and I can show you this I can delete it I can play again like it you know I happen to show all the all the rounds because I need the content trying to bring videos out 14th hole, approach shot, that's going to be another birdie. So we had two birdies on the round, a couple good approach shots in from 100 and in. So some a couple good things to take away here. Um, but yeah, I don't do mulligans, I don't push reset. I pick a course, I record, I play it, and I post it. Uh, it's that simple for me. I'm not trying to impress anybody, I'm not trying to... Uh, challenge anybody online or anything like that to GS Pro. I would like to play against somebody and record it though, so if someone wants to do that, um, I got some pretty good internet here at the new house and I want to do an online game, maybe do it live or something on YouTube. So here's another birdie guys, so we all of a sudden we're at plus 8 and I'm feeling pretty good about this. 16th hole, hopefully we can keep it together. 
Oh, there's a slicey drive. Got some decent distance there down the hill, though. And we're going to have to lay up out of that gross rough. Leaving about an 8 or 9 iron in. Going to have to give it a heave-ho. Kind of a shortened draw follow-through. And very close to saving par, but going to have to give one of those birdies right back to plus 9. 17th hole, 154. All we got to do is not go in the water. Oh, a bad bounce off the fringe. Oh, there's this little hill there. I think anything else, and it bounces in for another birdie. A par save, though, so we're still looking okay. We got the 18th hole coming up. It's plus 9. It's a par 5. Uh, in my head, I'm thinking we can get back to plus 8, and we're good to go. But we're going to be behind a tree. This rough was killing me. Uh, punch out here to get to 220. Coming in. Bunkers everywhere around this green. And I yanked it left. Six degrees closed face. Just uh, That's going left every time. We get into a bunker here. Roll down a little bit into the gimme circle for the par save oh that's brutal that bogey doesn't even matter when it's that close so three birdies a back-to-back -back doubles killed me another double killed me but an 82 total at the fazio and a fun round just gotta drive it better let's be honest like subscribe all that stuff more courses coming up soon